Now, the way we personally greet each other could be about to change forever as one of America's most prominent experts on infectious diseases suggests that we all give handshakes in future. The elbow its a really popular thing to do here, handshake in Russia. It's being claimed that stopping the centuries-old tradition would not only prevent the spread of coronavirus, but also the common cold, too. I don't think we should ever shake hands ever again, to be honest with you. Not only would it be good to prevent coronavirus disease, it probably would decrease instances of influenza dramatically in this country. You and O'Neill discussed how the pandemic might shape our future with an expert panel, then. If it was somehow universally adopted, that, how, how big a difference would it make? In a sense, what, 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 what's being promoted in the name of health is actually the erosion of human contact and human solidarity. And it seems to me that if you begin to medicalize human relationships and contacts in the way it's been suggested, it simply makes the divisions and the tensions that already exist so much more difficult to bear. And I think that's something we should very strongly oppose. I noticed that a lot of people are talking about now when they watch television, they see people very close to each other or strangers talking to each other or people shaking hands and they get, they're disgusted. And I, I feel like that's quite unsettling. This is a class pandemic. The, there's several billions of poor people around the world are crowded in quarters in the world's megacities. They're forced to do jobs that involve physical contact and close proximity to others. They have no other choice. Social isolation is a privilege for those that don't have to either face work in close proximity or die of starvation. In the future, after the pandemic is over, such things as no longer handshaking or having close physical contacts, not an option for several billions of peoples around the world. How easy do you think it will be after being told for, for, for so long now to, to move away, you know, social distancing, isolation, supermarket rationing, how do you expect the public to react when the, when the measures are lifted? As, this, as the um, measures begin to recede, hopefully, um, we will see ourselves going back to, uh, I think, older forms of social contact. I think a portion of global humanity is going to be uh, more cautious. There's going to be, of course, the psychological trauma of having emerged from this pandemic. But again, I see the world from the viewpoint of that three, four billion, five billion that are the most outcast and the most downtrodden. And their secondary concern is shaking hands and physical proximity. Their first is it's still going to be daily survival in this extremely unequal uh, global society that we live in. What the pandemic has done is that it's created a two-tier system. It made it even more rigid. Um, in many respects, what the pandemic has really done is reinforced trends that were already ex in existence in the economy prior to that, but it accelerated, it, it intensified it. And in that sense, divisions and differences in, in lifestyle are going to become even more pronounced. What happens now? Are, are we still happy to be monitored? Could it encourage people to, to snitch on each other to the authorities? What's your take? It's, it's the next stage in, in exchanging our freedoms for security, which is basically to make our private lives negotiable. And I'm, I am a little bit worried in the way in which there's all this talk about uh, governments introducing these new apps that will monitor us. But it does seem to me that it does give enormous power over to the authorities. And my uh, understanding of human history is that whenever you give over your freedoms to the authorities, they don't just give it back to you. There is a very potentially quite a, quite a difficult situation coming up as far as the question of freedom is concerned. Britain's national